Oh yeah. Look at that blue sky. <laughs> well, for that camera over here, I can see myself. I'm actually a mile 16. I'm about to hit mile 17 in a little bit. Yeah, so today, I'm doing that easy marathon that I always do on a Saturday. And today's goal actually is to not be tired at all. To be as relaxed as possible. You know, and that means I go by the way gravity pulls me and the way all my body is to the ground. So today is pretty much like um, at least the day today. Let me see. Maybe about four hours I'll spend doing yoga, and another no about three hours of yoga, and another hour thirty minutes or thirty four. So we'll be on meditation so i actually started this morning you know my yoga i've been doing with a lot of calisthenics it's actually good to do those push-ups when you do your yoga because yoga is designed in a sense to where every time you get on that floor you got to do push-ups you know if you that's just that's just what's worked for me you know what has worked for me if i'm in a yoga class if one is in a yoga class and during that class you didn't get 100 push-ups in or 50 push-ups it's not really i don't know what to say because the way yoga is designed in order to open up that spine especially if you want to be able to sit cross-legged the stronger your spine the easier it is for you to sit down. And I'm saying this from experience because when you begin to truly breathe into your body and doing yoga every morning, your running even becomes easy. So today I got up about two o'clock, one o'clock. I did my fourth set of yoga with a lot of calisthenics. You know, I think I started around that or five o'clock whatever time i started so today is the 26 mile so at mile looking at that sky i think about mile 13 into it i stopped stretch do some push-ups literally do some pu uh, 50 push-ups while i was doing yoga <laughs> you know like 50 children it's so easy to do 50 push-ups it's like you do 10 push-ups Stop, stretch. It's another 10, boom, boom. You do 50 push-ups in about, let me just say 15 minutes the most, and I'm pushing it, saying 20. You definitely do push, 50 push-ups in, let me just say 18 minutes. And I do that, and I continue to run. And at mile 20, I do the same. You know, same yoga. And then when I go back, I'm done with this 26 mile, do some yoga, do another calisthenic push-ups. And what it does, it keeps my spine limbo. And I'm really, truly, truly relaxed. Man, look at me. My attention is sticking away. Woo! Focus. <laughs> and, and I'm truly relaxed. And I'm able to come out and do this thing again in the morning. And that's the whole essence of doing yoga every day. You know, a lot of people will tell me I don't have time. And like I always say, the reason why you don't have time is because you're healthy. Life hasn't put you in a situation where you realize breathing into your body is so important. Yeah. And uh, I was talking to a female friend of mine so I, while I was running. So I stopped, walked with her a little bit. I mean, this is how easy this thing is. I could be running if I see someone that I know 
and they're walking, I'll just stop and walk with them, I talk and I keep on moving. You know, because when your body is becoming in tune with yourself, with itself, you should be running, you should you will be able to run, stop, walk, and keep it moving. Simple, very easy. You know, like most runners, you know, you can't even talk to them, they they'll be on their toes. No. The reason being is because their body is so agitated from not stretching it and the body is sending them a message that most people don't even want to take time to get to know so i walked with that a little bit that's why i probably would have been at mile 20 by now but because i stopped and walked with her talked to her and i kept it moving and it's really funny because when we talk about ultra running or when people hear oh it does 26 miles my whole thing is 26 miles ain't nothing compared to a woman pushing out a baby and that's just the way i look at it you know because to me i look at childbearing as life yeah so when someone sees me do 100 miles and they think it's a big deal i'm just looking at them that wow they have yet to understand their feminine side of the energy. Yeah. And when I say this, yeah, people look at me funny. <laughs> you know, it makes it look I'm giving women power. But the truth is, I am humble because I also have a mother. <laughs> yeah. I have a mother. So, uh, not respecting women, as crazy as some women might be, but not respecting women means you're not respecting your own mother. Yeah. So, and uh, 26 miles or whatever mileage I've run is nothing compared to a woman giving birth to a baby. And that's just the way I'm thinking. The day I saw my son being pushed out, I knew I can run 100 miles. And I always say this all the time, just to, get, just to show where I get my motivation from. <clears throat> because when a lot of uh, runners see how much I run, they are looking at it uh, in a jealous manner. You know, when they, say somebody, when they say I run 26 miles or 100 miles, people look at me like, wow. But somebody just came up and said, yeah, I just gave birth to a baby. <laughs> we look at it casually, oh, congratulations. But it's truly and truly a woman that just gave birth to a baby and me that just run 100 miles, that is nothing. Look at this beautiful bed right here. Me just running 100 miles is nothing compared to a woman that just gave birth to life. And it really amazes me how brainwashed we've been. And <laughs> that's why it is very funny. I look at it as an ego that when I said I've done about 39,000 miles in running in the last nine years, the spook that, that people look, the way people look at me, like I'm some form of Superman, but I'm looking at it. You live with Superman every day. Superwoman, shall I say. They push out babies. And when you haven't understood your feminine energy, you're always gonna be jealous of a marathon runner or someone that runs 100 miles. You think what he's doing or she's doing is a big deal, when truly, truly, <laughs> it all came from birth. Yeah, because I and I'm saying that because I see that a lot here. I see that, and that's why I keep talking about it. I see it a lot, and the truth is, oh, I love the traffic light. Let me stop and point the camera to myself. The truth is, <laughs> I am looking at getting up every day and stretching my body and doing yoga and going out for a run. As wow, the woman's body. Is so beautiful and extremely powerful 
And that's just the way I look at it every single day. And what that has done, it makes this whole running, getting up every day so easy for me. It's not even a big deal to come out and bust a marathon on a weekend. 26 miles, that's nothing. That's the most easy, that's, that's the least I can do, 26 miles. It is not a big deal at all. I love this traffic light because I get to stop and cheat. <laughs> I'm heating up mile 17 right now as I speak. So mile 17 coming up. So I've got like I've got another nine miles and I'll be done with this marathon today. Yeah. And I'm trying to be as fresh as I can. And a lot of it had to do with the plant-based diet. Oh, the traffic light is telling me to pass right now. See, I, as you can see, I started by walking. Then I'm gonna hold the camera up again. The plant-based diet and the yoga and it's really funny that i talk about yoga yoga every single time i come out here and jog <laughs> you know and it's really funny we still think this had to do with food i was looking at some yogis you know because i really studied these yogis and I was amazed when a yogi said, your chi, your energy can't, uh, depends on how much push up you do in the morning. So I studied all these different philosophies from Taoism to Hinduism to Buddhism. And I began to learn the technique of breathing. And I mean, I breathe real hard every morning. You know, I breathe so much that the mucus of my nose, because I'm trying to clean it, my nose begins to peel because I'm releasing all these bad toxins out of my body and the nose will heal back up. So it's really funny about when you do your own research about the body, the human body, it is amazing. So when I'm doing all these, look at that beautiful sky, beautiful sky. When I'm doing this, I'm doing it with sheer faith and sheer faith is let gravity pull you. When you look at most runners, when they're running, they're fighting. You know, because they want to move their body. But their body just want to move. Tick, tock, tick, tock. But they want to force it. So what ended up happening, they're dragging them, beating up their body. And on top of that, they don't stretch. That's why they feel all those soreness. You know, and it all comes from one place. Ego. When you run with the ego and you don't meditate, how gravity want to pull you, you just don't understand it. You know, we are vibration being. You know, different days, <laughs> gravity pull us at a different pace. <laughs> but we have yet to understand it. You know, last couple of years, after my little setback, I decided, okay, I want to sit in the lotus pose again. It is so funny, the push-up that I do to strengthen my spine again. You could heal any back injury with a ch proper chaturanga push-up. And I can tell you that I, I've done it, I've practiced it all over my body. And it really amazes me. It blows me away. You know, and another traffic light. Yes, I love this. And big up respect to all the marathon runners. But golly. They make it look like it's a big deal. You know, and that's just because we have yet to understand giving that honor to the power that lays in the feminine energy. Ooh, the traffic light say, let's go. Let me point that camera up and keep going. So that feminine energy is what I use. That energy is right there underneath our feet. It is amazing, you know, because when you study yoga, you can take a class, like I always say. But when you begin to practice by yourself, your subconscious mind, your higher self, which they call, which they call God, will take over and you'll be absolutely amazed. Even with meditation, nobody can teach you these things but yourself. Because from the day you were born, you were born with a gift. 
and that gift is the breath of life anyway let me focus a little bit <laughs> you know that's just the message for today you know i'm gonna focus a little bit as you can see i'm just leaning forward look at it, i'm just leaning forward let gravity pull me you know i'm not doing anything extra i'm still looking fresh mile 17 you know it's not even a big deal so i'm gonna focus a little bit and that's what i was just thinking of this morning i thought i'd share it and if that message can only reach two people that's 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 how we started but this energy that we call life the chi is right here and it requires a lot of breathing exercise so i'm gonna check back in in a little bit you know as i continue to lean forward because i don't like running and camera shaking no i just you know i like to be smooth with it so that way when i'm talking you know whatever anything that i'm talking about is actually coming from the bottom of my feet because that's how gravitational I am in my thinking. You know, so I'm not really thinking, but I'm just whispering what's being whispered to me. Another beautiful day today. We're crossing this road right here. You know, blue sky. Beautiful, beautiful day. You know, another grateful day for that wealth that you have, which is called the breath of life. So I'm going to focus here and nine more miles to go shall i say and then uh, one love and happy saturday <laughs>